it's day 17 of Oscar Pistorius's trial in the North Gauteng High Court, and it's the day everyone's been waiting for. Oscar Pistorius has taken to the stand. We're joined by our correspondent Sipo Shongwane to talk us through what's happened in court so far. Thanks for joining us, Sipo. Thanks for having me. So, Sipo, tell us what's happened in court today. Well, we briefly heard from the defense's pathologist, but then, of course, um, the main guy himself, Oscar Pistorius, took stage. So it's really been about what he has had to say. And so far, Barry Rue seems to be taking him through, uh, you know, step by step through his whole life story. And I think just trying to create a different impression of Pistorius to the one that we've seen so far in court. So Barry Rue spoken specifically about his mother and growing up with a disability. Do you think perhaps there's um, a chance of people feeling sympathetic for Pistorius through this process? It's, it's quite weird to see this happen because we don't have a jury in South Africa. So you, you kind of wonder who is this story being told for really? But I think it's to help uh, Barry Roo later down the line to be able to say, listen, when Pistorius says that um, he feels less secure or he feels less able when he's on his stumps than when he's on his legs, he genuinely means it. And these are the reasons why, you know, he'll talk about the things that have happened to him before. But I think that's really the strategy here. That's where we're going with this. He's not really pandering to the public or to the judge, as it were. I think he's just trying to make sure that we understand that Pistorius really, really needs those uh, um, prosthetics of his to, to move around and actually feel whole as a person. Let's talk about Oscar Pistorius's opening words on the stand. He didn't launch straight into his testimony. In fact, he addressed the Steenkamp family directly. Yeah, um, I, I wasn't sure that he was allowed to do that, or apparently he is. So instead of um, starting off by talking to his attorney, you know, he, he essentially made a public statement. Um, he, he, he gave a delivery. I expected him to do something like this at some point. I thought he was going to do it um, in his in his own affidavit. When he, he remember on the first day, he had to you know plead guilty or not guilty to whatever charges. I thought he was going to do it then, but he's chosen to do it now. And I suppose um, it's part of the whole um, Pistorius PR blitz, if you like. Um, they've been very uh, active on Twitter. Um, they've tried to make sure that his side of the story comes out a lot. So to, for him to come out and apologize, I don't think it's very it's surprising. It's all part of the whole, um, it was just a, a mistake defense, if you like. And Reva Steenkamp's mom, June, she was in court and her reaction was quite surprising. Yes, <laughs> actually, do, do you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm thinking, you know, what, what's, what's normal and what's not anymore in terms of how people are reacting in this trial, you know, it seems to, it seems everyone is having strange reactions in, in either direction. Yeah, but um, I, I think it's not in keeping with anything that we haven't seen coming from the Steenkamp family. They've been very cold very held back you know i think there have been times once or twice and Pistorius has tried to reach over and they've just that you know completely blocked him off so i think it's it's not in keeping with 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 what we've seen coming from the steen Kamp family so far and i think for them the essential question is Pistorius, just tell us the truth about what happened that night you know i don't think that they actually believe his whole story thank you for joining us today cheers